Alright, what's going on guys? Chiller Games back again, and thank you guys so much for the uh, continuous support. Uh, the vacation that I had this weekend was amazing, and uh, now we are back. This is the game that I had last week, and I just saved it because I was like, you know what, I'm going to make a video at some point. So here it is, we're using the Fletcher, and Fletcher is honestly like one of my favorite go-tos because it can be somewhat difficult to play, but it is a very rewarding ship to do well in, and... I'll say it once and I'll say it again, Fletcher will win you games if you play it correctly. Uh, I feel like that's a pretty, pretty solid statement for the, uh, the USN cruisers as well. While the, uh, the radar cruisers don't offer as much in terms of like raw, raw damage, like all these crazy things, they will win games. Radar cruisers will win games. Fletcher can test calves. It does very well. And as my kitty is softly asleep. We're going to try not to wake him. <laughs> oh, too late. Anyways, well, there's not much going to be going on uh, really in the next couple minutes here. I take the shot of the Hudashi just to make sure that he goes down. And I guess my biggest thing that I do with Fletcher that uh, probably is a mistake is when I'm spotted, I usually try to get something out of it if I can. So, like, you see, I'm spotted here and I'm shooting at this guy nice now. Not going to get much in terms of, you know, much, like, I'm risking a lot for a little bit of investment there, you know, best case scenario, I get a fire, but that's, n like, nothing crazy there, get our engine taken out. Luckily, we did get the cap there, it would have it been different if I hadn't secured the cap, I probably wouldn't have shot, just so I made sure to get it. But, with that destroyer down at A, my biggest thing now is to go be a blanket for this spawn over here because for some reason we're still not in this cap and I was like all right can we please can we get can we get that so this game ends up being uh pretty close um in terms of I guess you know solo warrior but it, it really wasn't but it was and I'll explain in a minute um because I, I do have a fair bit of mistakes in this and it's always I feel like it's always good to be able to, to look back at your games and not be like oh yeah like I did this and like the thumbnails are always like crazy like you know X amount of damage X amount of base XP like crazy win you know stuff like that but when you look back at the gameplay it's like these crazy crazy ish wins could have been you know much much easier and you know not as difficult if I had made or if, if you had made some different plays and it's going to become very apparent here so I guess the biggest thing is to you know never be never never think that you can't improve because I was rewatching this again and I was like man like what am I doing here like it's you'll you'll see it's coming up in the next couple of minutes so right now we're going straight for the cap I'm not gonna bother myself trying to you know get any kind of chip damage over there there's no point uh, the biggest thing that I've run into with Fletcher is when I use a smoke screen, I try to get the most out of it because popping a smoke screen with the USN, uh, you have a two minute timer on it and your cooldown is like three minutes. So if, if you pop a smoke screen, you want to try and get the absolute most value that you can because it's not like a British one you know, or any of the other ones, it's very punishing in that if you waste it, you cannot dis and you can't disengage, you're screwed. Um, I think that's why like something like lightning is very good because if you, you know, pleb a smoke screen, you know, you can you can duck and dodge. Twenty seconds later, you can pop another smoke screen. Here, smoking up, trying to get the Bismarck. Uh, we're capping here. I'm I'm satisfied with my positioning. You know, as long as we're doing more than a couple of things at once. Uh, I would love to go get that Iachi, but the Bismarck is in the way. I have a couple fires on that Bismarck, so we're going to uh, split to this Bismarck to go ahead and get some fires on him. And once that Bismarck is actually on a permafloat and permafire. So right here, probably should be focusing the Bismarck that's super, super hurt. One, because he is contesting the cap and he absolutely needs to die. Um, but I was fairly confident that he would go down, but we ended up getting a fire on the other one, so No, not the end of the world and I'm and I'm pretty sure that this guy's going to be going down, so 
if I were to go back, I would probably shoot this Bismarck till he's dead, just to make sure that everything's going good. And he ends up getting taken down. So this is where we're going to be making our, our biggest mistake here. It, fortunately for us, it doesn't cost, cost us the game. But as you'll see here, I was watching this, I was like, man, this is, this is actually the worst decision here. I couldn't go get that Yudachi before because of the Bismarck that was in the way. It would take me way too long to go all the way around. We had to kill the Bismarck, so I was fine. I was smoked up, I was capping, I was killing that Bismarck, we were doing fine. Now, what am I doing here? I'm sitting in the smoke. You see that I have uh, almost a minute left in this smoke screen, and I'm farming a battleship when there's a destroyer to the right who is shooting broadside torps at uh, the rest of my support here. So this is the mistake here. I get a little bit too greedy. I'm like, oh man, look at the damage stacking up. Look at all these, you know, my torps are ready. I need to kill these guys. Like. And truth, truth be told, I do need to kill these people because, you know, this flank looks like it's going to collapse just from those guys alone. But as you'll see here, the smoke screen's running out, so I'm like, okay, let's go get that destroyer now. And it's going to be absolutely way too late. And this was completely on me. I had no business farming, you know, 20, 30k off a battleship when, you know, if I would have supported this Bismarck more to make sure the torps weren't there. Um, or at least give him advance warning. He probably would have lived and been able to take out this turpits alone. But you see, we're already too late. The torps are sent. This Yudachi has got his target off, and we end up losing that Bismarck. So um, all that for a torpedo hit and a couple thousand damage farming on a turpits. So we that is our big mistake there. Um, if you're going to be running any sort of destroyer that has you know that can contest caps and you can gun things down you are going to almost always want to blitz the destroyers if you can be smart about it if you have twist and track and you set up for a gunboat build you need to be you know actively not engaging but if if you're if you can't engage the target to where you can kill them or whatnot you can at least deter them if the, if let's say this Yudachi's trying to push behind me here if he knows that I'm here he know, like he's not going to push so like being just that invisible wall to where that enemy team knows they can't push like this turpitz is doing right now this turpitz is like all right there's a destroyer right there like there is no point in me you know charging towards c or through c because it's like there's something that i cannot see and the only thing that will come out of that is probably me dying but so we have got to redeem this game um you know we're sitting sitting pretty decent uh in terms of, I feel okay right now, but even then, uh, something that I forgot to mention was when I engaged that Yudachi, the Turpets was already killed the Bismarck. Um, they had nothing else to shoot at, so when I shot the Yudachi, you know, when I could have been shooting him or engaging him when everyone else was busy, no one else, like, I, they had no one else to shoot at, so I ended up taking like five or six K thousand damage, so we lost to Bismarck. I wasn't able to engage or kill the Udachi, and I also lost, you know, a fourth of my health. So, you know, the uh, looking looking back and being able to know, like, wow, we just we took a lot of pointless damage. We lost a teammate. Uh, we put ourselves in a real big bind here. Luckily, the Turpets is turning around. I have to go engage. See, uh, it doesn't really matter if this Udachi is here, and this is why. Pletcher can be so so devastating. You know how he outspotted me for like probably you know a, a solid kilometer there but I knew as soon as I knew that he was contesting the cap I was like I have to go full speed and try to do a basically just a drive by like that, that guy had no idea what happened there and see I could if I would have done that earlier maybe we still have a Bismarck maybe you know all these different things um, or the turpits is severely damaged so you know a lot of a lot of good goes to looking back at your gameplay seeing like what you can improve and I you know even if you would consider yourself you know a really good player like no one's perfect and this game is uh, a lot like chess so you know there's always multiple answers to a situation and here is me trying to turn this turpits out I know he's playing pretty smart here what he's trying to do is he's trying to use that destroyer as a beach and that'll block all those torpedoes. So luckily I have torpedoes to either side. So if he were to turn out, I would probably get him on either side. Uh, he's also engaging that Kutuzov so that I am free to farm this guy. Like I have to, if I really don't want this turret shooting my only support left. So if 
if there's any way that I can draw his fire, I'm comfortable that I can dodge better than that Kutuzov could dodge damage. So while he is shooting at the Kutuzov, I am trying my best to kill this guy as quick as possible. Luckily we get a flooding on him as well and the Serpents will be going down very, very soon. Um, so he is dead. Uh, next mission will be to get C. And you realize that was the... Uh, our Kutuzov is down, so the Terpets died, so this is technically like solo warrior territory. Um, the biggest thing that I was worried about here is I didn't think the Bismarck was going to push. I was just worried about them getting C really, really quick because we do have a really big points lead, but, 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 if they can control B, if they can get that and if they can contest C, because I'm, you know, I essentially won't be able to stay here and the Bismarck will be doing exactly what we talked about earlier, like the Turbots did. Once this Terp or once this Bismarck notices that I'm going to be in this cap, he he's going to flee. He's playing the smart. I mean, there's really nothing he can do here. Um, but when it's a destroyer v battleship, and this kind of you know exemplifies how strong a destroyer can be this late game. And you know, I could have going back through this, I could have been at. You know, I, I've always said like how important it is to kill destroyers. Like if they have, if you have the chance to shoot one, and you're a battleship or whatnot, and you shoot them, you hit them one time for a thousand damage. You might think, oh, that wasn't too much worth it. Well, I'm gonna tell you right now, I could have won this game with one hit point left, and that just goes to show how much utility having a destroyer will give you at the end of the game. Um, so. Essentially, as long as I play it smart here and uh, get this capture point and nothing goes horribly, horribly wrong, uh, this is going to be a win. They took a pretty long time getting into B, and basically the biggest thing I have to do now is not ram into the islands and get stuck. Bismarck is turning around. I was kind of hoping to get some more torpids, obviously, but... In the end, I was still freaking out here. I was like, is this like, is this possible? I mean, we're 200 points ahead and I was still just like, is this gonna be possible? Like, I'm not too sure. Um, so we were still kind of freaking out. Um, I actually freaking out so much to, uh, paying attention to this Bismarck. I was like, oh man. And I almost ran right here at the island and I was like, oh crap, come on. So uh, very, very, you, you can't see it, but I was like freaking out. I was like, oh my god, I would have I would have been so pissed. But um, pretty much it, honestly. Uh, when I when I recorded this game, I was like, oh man, like, this is a pretty sick game, you know. But it, you know, I I had a lot of selfish decisions here, and this did not need to be this difficult. That's what I'm saying. Like, this is an easy win right now. Um, there is really no way that they can win here. Uh, we are, you know, all we have to do to win right now is just, you know, put our controller down. And, you know, technically that's an easy win, but the fact that it was, that it had to be this close, you know, a lot of that goes back to me not going, you know, sticking in the smoke screen, you know, not playing versus the destroyer, trying to farm a battleship. And even for a minute, you know, I did that for one minute uh, around about, I would say that was just like one minute too long and you see what can happen and you know how it can turn, uh, you know, a battlefield really, really quick. So, um, and I guess that's the reason why ranked went so well with T-Bull is because like, I was not focused on anything. Like my only objective was the DDs and, you know, it worked out insanely, insanely well. And standard, I have the tendency to play around a little bit too much. But anyways, uh, we're, <laughs> we're getting pretty confident now. I'm like, all right, it makes sense. Like, we're going to win this. Because the whole time, I was like, oh, is this going to happen? Is this going to happen? So anyways, that is going to be a solo warrior. Um, again, something that we can all learn from here in this battle, I think, um, especially me, myself. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. And thank you guys for tuning in. We are headed on to 900, 900 subscribers. So again, thank you guys. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.